My name is Dartne, uh, Dartne Bryant, better known as D. Bryant. So I uh, am a professional stunt woman, and I've been in the business about 23 years now. And I have worked on um, over 100 different television shows and feature films. Driving is one of my uh, fortes. It's actually my favorite. I am into motorsports, um, extreme sports, anything from skydiving, scuba diving, snowboarding. But I do prefer vehicle stunts because it's less taxing on my body. I was born and raised in California and back when the film industry was still here before before Runaway Production, I was just kind of introduced to it. It was actually thrown in my lap. I never aspired to become a stunt woman. But growing up in Southern California in the suburbs, I was I was a tomboy. So I um did a lot of activities with my brother, uh snowboarding, um uh motocross. And everything the guys were doing, I was doing. And so uh, I had a friend that was a mutual friend of a stunt coordinator who happened to be looking for an African-American female who could pull a willy on a motorcycle. And there was no one in the Screen Actors Guild capable of pulling a willy. This friend of mine told the stunt coordinator about me, and he hired me. I had a lot of fun, did a music video, pulling willies, and thought it was... uh, you know, just a one-time thing. And then I started getting calls from Nickelodeon and Disney because of my height, doubling children became kind of my foot in the door. I did not. I, I, there were maybe three at the time that I knew of that were actually working full-time as professional stunt women, but none of them had my profile. And, and fortunately for me, none of them had my skill set. I mean, there were no other African-American women who were skydiving. There were very few scuba divers. There were, you know, no one else was doing the the extreme things that I was doing. Now there are a lot more African-American women, mostly because um, the film industry kind of migrated to the Atlanta area. And being a predominantly African-American city, a lot of women realized that this it, it was a it's a lucrative you know, field. Mm -hmm. And so they started uh, um, gymnasts, martial artists, people started hearing about this and getting into the industry. And now there are a lot more of us. I was more of a perfectionist. And like I said, every time I saw a guy doing something, I thought I can do that. Whenever I, I noticed that a guy was doing something that most women don't do, I thought, why aren't women doing this? I can do that. So I just kind of aspire to um, become the best of my field. Well, Olivia um, is a really good friend of mine as well. And she was just becoming frustrated because she is more or she was more on the commercial side as opposed to television and film. And she would see that there weren't enough highly skilled precision drivers they were African American, and so she noticed that any time they would um, need an African American woman, they would throw a guy in the seat. And even uh, even if they weren't African American, even for Caucasian women, they would they were throwing guys in the seat, and they were taking our jobs. JC, my friend in Atlanta, Juan Dees and I kind of brainstormed and created a website called StuntPoc, stands for Stunt People of Color, so that the stunt coordinators had no excuse. That they couldn't, you know, they couldn't say, well, oh, we can't find a woman who can drive. We can't find a woman who can't ride a motorcycle. So, and this, I believe, inspired Olivia and I to create our women's, all women's driving group. For example, there's a a young gymnast by the name of Nia Dennis. So she um, inspires, people like that inspire me. And come to find out, she's been a fan of mine for a couple of years and I had no idea. So I received an email yesterday from someone from the university asking if I was willing to mentor her because Nia is interested in becoming a stunt woman. And I almost lost my mind when I read that email. Like, are you kidding me? She wants me to mentor her. I can't even do a backhand spring. <laughs> so, definitely Buster Keaton. 
Um, there was an old cowboy. He used to double John Wayne. And my dad is an old black cowboy. I grew up riding horses and going to the rodeo because my uncle was a bull rider. But my, my dad always idolized uh, John Wayne. And all I could think of was, well, John Wayne's not really doing his own stunts. He's not doing the horse ball dad. It's a stunt double. So, um, yeah, people like that are the people that I idolize. You know, the, the trailblazers, I mean, the ones who open the doors for us. You know, the stunts that he was performing is just unbelievable. Jackie Chan has always been my all-time favorite. Jackie is literally the only actor who's ever done all his own stunts. Like every actor you hear, oh, Tom Cruise did his own stunts or, you know, this, this person did their own stunts. Not one actor has ever done their own stunts except for Jackie Chan. Well, for me, it's about knowledge and learning and teaching because there's so many African-Americans who were amazing and um, they were creators or um, uh, inventors and people don't know about them. It's kind of like their, their, you know, their accomplishments were swept, swept under a rug. So what I like to do for Black History Month is literally every day in February, I will post something on my social media about an amazing African-American inventor or a war hero or just something that, you know, someone's going to see that and didn't have that knowledge. And so it's just teaching. Uh, to me, Black excellence is a mindset. and and like I said, I'm a perfectionist, and it probably has to do with my astrological sign, I believe. I'm a Virgo. So to me, Black excellence portrays a person with great qualities, abilities, and great morals. I do have a quote that I actually came up with when I first got into the film industry. And I remember sometimes being afraid to uh, display my, my talents. Because it seemed like everyone around me was shutting me down, like, oh, no, she's new. Oh, no, she doesn't know how to do this. And so in my mind, I remember thinking, never allow the fear of failure to rob you of your full potential. And that's been my personal quote since 1998.